Hey everyone, Tech OG here, representing those who are affording up below their tech. And this video is going to be a uh, video about two phones that are near and dear to my heart that I decided to revisit in 2020. <laughs> um, the phone company that made these phones is called Unihertz, and the two phones that I'm going to talk about are the Unihertz Chelly Pro and the Unihertz Atom. These two phones are very near and dear to my heart because me being a fan of small phones, when these were uh, introduced on Kickstarter, I immediately, immediately pledged to both of these. So when this came out, um, what was it here it came out? Give me a second. Okay, I got it now. The um, Jelly Pro were, was released in April 2017 and the Atom was released in October 2018. So these are a couple of years old. But like I said, I was gravitated towards both of these because of the small form factor. A full Android phone and a small form factor so that I was really, really attracted to that. And again, Tried them both, and when I got them, tried them out at the time, um, because of the screen size being too small and the functionality not working for what I needed to use it as for my daily driver, I decided at that time that both phones were not usable and sold them. However, I missed both of them and bought this one again um, last year, but never did a video on it because I never really use it. Um, and just got this one um, yesterday and you know already put my apps on here things like that to try it out I didn't try it out you know 100% 100% but I tried it out for the gist of the things that I use it for and so let me just go over both phones and I'll give you the specs again because again this is a revisit in 2020 to see if they can be usable at this time so with the Jelly Pro, the specs are right here. Um, this sports a 2.45 screen, a 1.1 gigahertz quad core processor, micro USB for charging, um, two megapixel camera on the front, eight megapixels on the back with a nice little flash on the back as well. 950 milliamp battery. But the cool thing about the battery, it's removable. Plastic bag, so if you can get a little prying uh, tool, you can take the back off, can't use my fingernails because I really don't have any, and take the back off and replace the battery. Speaker grill on the back as well so you can get good sound out of here. Um, and two gigabytes of RAM. So for a phone that was introduced for the first time April 2017 at this size, this was revolutionary. And so like I said, I was gravitated toward it, towards it, especially like I said because it's full Android. So you got your apps right here, got your home button right there, recent apps right here, and of course your back button on the left. So this works as a full-fledged Android phone. So you got notifications on the top, sorry about the blur, and it just works like a regular Android phone. But what I didn't like about it was because of the two gigabyte uh, of RAM, uh, it didn't process a lot of the apps that I use on a daily basis as well as it should, especially Google Maps. So if you're traveling and, and want to get turn by turn, it did work, but very slowly. So sometimes you miss turns, things, or I miss turns to die. It's my phone. Um, so it didn't work out that way. So I had to sell it and go with the Atom. Now with the Atom and check out the specs right here. The Atom, um, just like the Pro, I mean, it has a couple of similarities. So as far as the screen size, the screen size is the same. They both have, surprisingly, headphone jacks and I didn't show the one on the Jelly Pro but it does have one as you can see so they both have headphone jacks Bluetooth FM radio which is cool so if you want to listen to music and don't have a Spotify account or Pandora then you can use an FM radio but as far as those features I just mentioned those are basically the only similarities between the two now the Atom in my personal opinion has the most improvements of any phone based on the predecessor and the successor you know from one to the next this had the the most improvements of any phone on the market and i i, I mean go ahead and look up uh, other phones like look up iphone 6 to iphone 7 see you know what were different about those phones 
look at the uh, no eight between the no and the no nine and see the um, differences. Not a lot on that list, but for this one, I mean the the, the improvements are astronomical. So as far as this phone here, again, same screen size, but the processor is a 2.2 gigahertz octa-core processor, where the Jelly Pro had a quad processor. Four gigabytes of RAM. The camera on the front, eight megapixels on the front, 16 megapixels with an autofocus camera on the back, and a nice little flash. As you can see with the body, the body is nice and rugged with reinforced corners, nice and thick. You can drop this down the flight of stairs and don't worry about this breaking. It's really, really rugged. Um, it has, which is really also surprising for a phone this small, a fingerprint reader on the front. This is so awesome. Just turns on. It's, you can't deny this. This is just awesome. Boom. There you go. This is just totally awesome. So, um, what else it has? 2,000 milliamp battery. So this lasts a lot longer because for those who did have the Jelly Pro and bought this, um, the battery life was not that great at all. And so for this to have a removable battery, you can continue to have power if you bought like two or three batteries and still use it through your day. But that's kind of cumbersome to change the battery out. So with this 2000 milliamp battery, this definitely lasts through a, a day um, using radio signals, you know, to make phone calls and messaging and uh, using social media, things like that. And so um, for the size of the battery, it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, the only thing about the battery for this one, you cannot remove it. And you don't want to remove it because you don't want to um, damage the ruggedness of this phone. So the battery is awesome. It has dual SIM, so if you have two SIM cards, you can um, use both of them. Um, it has a PTT button. The PTT stands for Push to Talk. So you can use this as a walkie-talkie just in case you don't have um, cellular service. So that's what's kind of awesome about this phone as well. Um, USB-C connectivity for charging and not only for charging but you can also use this as OTG which stands for on the go so you can use um, different peripherals on this phone as well as USB type C connectivity so you can use uh, a keyboard you can use a mouse you know wired or wireless uh, with Bluetooth or you can expand the storage that's right expand the storage on this phone at first when I got the Unihertz Atom I tried to use this because I had this uh, peripheral at the time um, and put a card in. It didn't read. But I did some research last night since I just got the phone again and found out why it didn't read a card. The card had to be in a specific format. Um, usually your micro SD cards are in a uh, XFAT format, but in order for the Atom to read it, it has to be in a FAT32 uh, format and I've configured it to be in FAT32 and now I'm able to use my 256 gigabyte card on this phone. How awesome is that? The only drawback with FAT32, you can only um, um, upload onto the card files up to four gigabytes in size. So if it's larger than that, you're out of luck. So if you wanted to put uh, a movie on here that's larger than four gigabytes, then you're out of luck. But I have um, Netflix and I have um, other movie apps and, or TV apps like Hulu where I can view uh, stuff on here without having to upload it onto the card. So I only have games and stuff on here. So I'll show you that in a minute and how that works. But like I said, this has a lot more improvements. Oh yeah, and it also has NFC. So if you have um, NFC devices and you want to use it to touch, and you can use Google um, Pay on here, so you can use it at stores with just NFC, that makes this a really, really awesome phone as far as the improvements between this and the Jelly Pro. So this was definitely worth the money. Um, but at the time when I was using it, um, the drawbacks of this phone, I couldn't use my banking app at the time, so that was really, really bad. Um, what else? The camera on here was um, pretty atrocious as well. Um, the, the noise that was in the pictures, they just made it look really, really pixelated, and that was, that was really a drawback. And of course, typing on here, <laughs> because it's a 2.45 inch screen, 
you know, just didn't make it that great. Even though Google uh, Keyboard is integrated in the phone, so you can you know, swipe to type, or you can use um, Google Voice and you can uh, talk to type. So there are alternatives to do that, but like I said, you know, if I quickly wanted to send a message, I just mainly use my thumbs or, you know, typed it out, and that was just a small, dr just a small drawback. But as far as um, this phone being great, it was at the time. But like I said, because of the drawbacks, um, I just sold it when I first got it. But like I said, I'm now revisiting it and just want to show you basically what I discovered and using it um, in 2020. So I guess the person that I bought this from, the person um, updated it to the latest update and uh, I guess some improvements were made. Um, I don't know, because I, I did write the company uh, when I did have the phone at first to let them know that my banking app didn't work and the other um, drawbacks that had me to sell this phone. So I guess with the uh, new updates, they made some really, really cool improvements. So let's talk about the phone real quick. So as you can see, I've already taken the liberty of downloading a lot of different apps or apps that I have on my Note 9 that I'll use to record this video onto this phone. So let me just show you the functionality of this phone on this very small 2.45 inch screen. So remember I told you um, first time I added that my banking app didn't work. Well, I guess with the new updates, I am proud to say that my banking apps, my banking app finally works on this phone. That's, that's a plus. That, that makes me very, very happy. Now I can use this as my data driver and check on my funds. I'm in trouble. But anyway, it does work. Very happy with that. Shopping on this very small screen is a joy too because you can see the fonts, you can see the pictures, you can uh, go into the search bar. You can type it if you want to, you can swipe it if you want to, or you can use Alexa and see what you want. That's right, come on. And iPhone 11. Oh, I guess you gotta use the keyboard to do that. Try this again. Microphone. iPhone 11. What? Boom. So shopping on here is pretty cool. And you just saw that in real time. So it works pretty well. Wonderful. So shopping on here. Awesome. Even though it's a small screen. Change the orientation to landscape. See things a little bit better. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I forgot to mention too. Now, let's say you're saying... Um, this is too small to read on this screen. I need a bigger screen. Well, guess what? You can read it on a bigger screen. How can you do it? Using a wireless um, wireless display adapter. So I'm using right now the Microsoft wireless display adapter. And as you can see, it's ready to uh, be paired with a device. And check this out. Check this out on the Atom. Like this, pull over. It says cast. All right now it's gonna search for a device to connect to. Give it a couple of <gasps> I couldn't do this the first time I had the Atom. Look how quickly it, look how quickly it quickly got on. This is awesome. Okay, okay, I don't have to hold it. Let me adjust the screen. Look at this. You say happy, happy, joy, joy. Look how zippy that is. It now connects to wireless display adapters. That makes this phone even more versatile. So if you're complaining about this or your significant other sit next to you and say, I can't read that, I'm too blind. Boom, read that. This is awesome. Now you already know that because of the screen that um, when you try to play uh, touch screen games it's going to be pretty cumbersome because your big old fat thumb is going to take up half the screen and trying to get a precise uh, 
besides moving on here, it's going to take a minute. But as you can see right now, it's not, it's not that, oh, 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 it is bad. It is going to be precise. Bam. But it does work. So that's proof that even though he has some big fingers, uh, like mine, you can still use touchscreen games. However, if you're playing Candy Crush, that might be a little cumbersome. So if you want, buy yourself a small stylus and you might be able to get a little bit more preciseness with the stylus than your big old fat finger because this is a lot smaller. So you can play touchscreen games on this uh, small screen and expand it on a wireless display adapter. So you're good to go. Watching movies and shows on the air is pretty cool too because the screen is very vivid and it works nicely. So I'm using Netflix right now and they got um, Akame Got Kill, which is one of my favorite animes. If you haven't seen this yet, go ahead and watch it. It's pretty cool. Um, so it works pretty well. Runs pretty good, especially if you're on a good Wi Fi signal. And with the I'm at it, Ram. Um, just works really really well so movie watch cool so playing music on here can get you ding let me just use this anime as an example so speaker grill isn't that that bad so you can hear it pretty well but let's say you can't hear that well from the grill since it has a headphone jack take this and let's see what happens oh i gotta turn it on Oh man, it's not gonna turn on because the battery power ran out. But let's just say that this does have battery power. You see the size of this doggone speaker? Half the size of the phone. Sounds gonna come out really, really well. So, look at that. Isn't that kinda cool? For something this small. And let's see if I can just use it to rotate. Oh, not working that well, but still. Just having this right here on the top. Works pretty well. Or you're gonna connect a uh, Bluetooth speaker to this to amplify the sound. So that's pretty cool. As you can expect, reading social media on this screen, it's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. So you can still expand it or um, change your orientation or put it on the Microsoft or use a uh, wireless display adapter, put it on the bigger screen and you're good to go. So you still can read it, even if you're out and about. And the last thing I wanna talk about are emulators. Um, when I had the Jelly Pro, I really never tested um, emulators on here because I knew because of the small size and the small processor, it wouldn't play a lot of the um, emulators or games and emulators that I would normally use. But with the Atom, with the added features and specs, um, putting uh, emulators on here is pretty cool. So let me just show you real quick one that I got set up, and like I said with the OTG, um, I have the games on the card and the emulators here. So this is gonna be awesome to see. Here I'm using the PS1 emulator EPSXE, which is the best emulator for this, um, for Android, in my opinion. So as you can see, I got these games on the card and they play pretty well. So the onboard controls, you can try to use those, but of course you know that because of the size of your fingers and the onboard control is taking up pretty much the entire screen, you won't be able to have a good, really good uh, gaming experience. So of course, suggestion is get a Bluetooth controller. And again, the Wii controller, in my opinion, is the best controller you can have for any Android phone, even this one. It fits in it. If it's a... <laughs> well, the first time I did it, it didn't fall. So I don't know why it fell now. Anyway, it holds pretty good. It does hold pretty good. So what you just saw there was a flop. But it does hold. It does hold pretty good. When you pair it, it pairs nicely. And you don't really have to do any configuration. It just instantly works with pretty much all your emulators. And no configuration necessary. You can get right into it. And with the addition of the Microsoft wireless display adapter, you can play this on a big screen. And I don't know about the lag yet, but I'll try that out and I'll let you know in the comments a little bit later. So 
this works very, very well. So again, you got your expanded storage on the top, got your emulators, you got games galore on this phone. Whether you're looking at a small screen or the big screen, traveling, whatever, you're good to go. So as far as that, you can't complain about this phone. Well, I can't complain about this phone anymore. But they add accessories and the uh, armband that I have, I'm gonna take this off and put, I'm getting a uh, clip case for this. Hopefully they'll be here by Sunday and I'll be able to put it on the armband and with all that, I'll be able to put it <laughs> on my wrist as a phone watch. Yes, it's gonna look very, very big, cumbersome, but do you think I care about what people say about it? Nope, I don't care about the functionality for how I use it. Oh yeah, and with the uh, the loop on the back, you can you know, put a lane in on here and wear it around your neck. So this is really, really cool. And e even though there's, a, there, I mean, Universe, like I said, there, there's some fans of the company. They got a new phone that's gonna be coming out soon. Let me show you how that looks in a, in a quick minute. Here we go. So the Unihertz Atom was a very, very popular phone. So popular that they're making an XL version of it. And the X, actually they're making an L and an XL version. So large and extra large, whatever. Um, the extra large has an extra feature. This DMR, which is the push to talk, push to talk. The, um, the walkie-talkie. The L does not have the walkie-talkie feature. So, by the XL, you get the walkie-talkie feature, you get a four inch display, 48 megapixel camera, which does not sell me at all. And it's bigger, because there's the four inch screen, it's gonna be a bigger phone. So that takes away from the cool sleekness of this being small. So will I get this one? No. Because again, I like the, the really, really tiny small form factor and the cool features. Um, but this one does have something, um, an added feature that the Atom doesn't have. <clears throat> you can expand the memory or the, the storage on, on board the phone. So it does have micro SD capabilities. And that right there, I, I can't, e even though that's cooler than having this pimple of an adapter on the side of this phone. It's cool to have it on the inside of the phone, but this phone being bigger, I, I can't swallow that. I mean, like I said, it does look nice. It it's gonna be cool. I mean, I can't find on it. Uh, here's some specs real quick. So, octa-core processor, uh, MediaTek Helio P60. So, of course, it's better than this. Um, Four-inch display, uh, 1136 by 640 pixels, so of course it's bigger than this. Gorilla Glass, just like this. Android 10 on board, six gigabytes of RAM, that's kind of cool. This only has four. 128 gigabytes of internal storage with micro SD support, 48 megapixel, megapixel rear camera, and eight megapixel, just like this one, front camera. Um, same specs on the inside as far as wireless technology. Oh yeah, this is IP68 water resistance, so is this one. So they both had the same resistance to water. Fingerprint sensor, all the same stuff that this has. 4300 million uh, battery because it's bigger. This is 2000 and it's just bigger. Like I said, just a, just a couple of features, so not really uh, a huge improvement over this. But size, if you like size, then definitely get that one. But this one, pretty much the same functionality. So that, that's the XL. Um, it's on Kickstarter. There's two more days left on Kickstarter. So if you want to get it, you get it now. Um, it's going to be with a lease um, estimated June 2020. But because this is a Chinese phone, um, there may be some delays in your shipping because of the coronavirus pandemic. So just be patient with the company. Very good company. However, customer service is still not good. You gotta wait to get the response in a couple of days or so. And calling them, don't ever try it. So, uh, as far as that, still a good company, still make great phones. I'm happy with this. So, just go with what you like. So, there's the end of the video. I've revisited the Jelly Pro and the Atom. The new XL coming out soon. Um, out of the two that I have, of course I'm going with this. 
using it as my daily driver because this has pretty much all the functions that my Note 9 has, but in a smaller form factor. And even a, where did it go? Where did the stylus go? Even a stylus that can be on board the phone. So there you have it. The Atom, I'm using it again. I'm happy with it. And I hope you enjoyed the video of me showing you um, the Atom visit it in 2020. So if you liked the video, definitely leave a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so. Tell your friends about my channel. And I hope to see you in my next video.